I didn't have a care or think of his demise. How his story ends, come as no surprise. He didn't hear the screams, he didn't see the truck. His little ballad called Joe Love. Sets the street ablaze Every car's a challenge Every bike's a race The devil in his eyes Was hit from home who's dead He's gonna end up dead They say but no one really cared Everybody knew that it's true And out of luck When he rides his motorcycle Like Joe Luck <laughs> There was a time with no speed limits And no compulsory use of helmets time of transport cafes and newly found freedom. For the first time, working class boys and girls could afford to buy a motorcycle on credit and blast off up and down the British Islands. The war was well over and a new musical input from the US would shape the foundations of modern youth culture. A modest British transport cafe, not far from an American military base, will play a role that shall not be forgotten. Some of the players that took part and the young lads that followed suit gather once a year to celebrate and pay homage to a culture that gave birth to street motorcycle racing and its ultimate manifestation the Café Racer In the 21st century in the midst of a motorcycle revival it is important to remember where to call home. It is a regular British cafe, albeit one where your chances to bump into a fellow battlehead will increase exponentially. Time to order a fry up, grab the papers. Hardly anything out of the ordinary, but looks as it happens can be deceiving. Because at any given time, any day of the week, the ace can be whipped into a frenzy and transformed into a car and motorcycle enthusiast paradise. The same people that have made of this cafe and car park a temple for the mechanically minded. Once a year, the rockers return to their original home. <laughs> Face. So I 
midnight he got on that beast And he revved it hard and fast I'm gonna smash that record So forever it will last Faster and faster he went Then the bike it started to slide Then it flew off the road A burst in a flame The night Tommy died You gotta go fast Your life won't last You never can tell when the road will run out Send you down to hell Basically, the history of the place is, you know, quite important on the rocker scene. Oh, I'm a Ted, but Ted's and rockers are like pretty much brothers. So, yeah, it's uh, just the history of the place. Oh, the Escafé means everything to me. I mean, you know, all my family is in France, and I'm on my own here for the last 22 years now. So since I passed my bike test in 2006, I've been coming here mostly every day of the week. <laughs> It's like my English family here. That's what it means to me. The rockabilly scene is quite vibrant. It's um, there's quite a lot of us. Um, there's only a, if you was to work out the amount of us, there is thousands of us, but that's only a small dot on the planet, I expect. But the rockabilly scene there's a lot of passionate people in, involved with cars, uh, motorbikes. Um, and obviously the music, everyone's there's a passion for the music. It, there's quite a lot of stuff, there's a lot of weekenders. There's probably five, six, seven really fantastic top range weekenders. Then there's other weekenders as well, which um, are coming along and picking up nicely. And there's stuff to go to every weekend if you want to. If you could afford to go out every weekend, you could, no problem at all. And the Ace Cafe is, is where everything was born. All the passion about the Euro passion in uh, the 60s and also before the rockers, the moors, the, all the all the crazy things around the bikes in Europe, of course. It's just a fabulous place. The atmosphere, the music, the people you meet. I've met so many nice friends here. Just, oh, it's just a fabulous place. And I hope it goes on for a long, long time yet. Well, I was born in South London, but I never knew it was here until about the 80s. And I came up and it was just fantastic. My kind of people, just brilliant. It was the um, St George's Day. Uh, I can't honestly remember what year it was, but uh, very, very heavily pregnant lady out in the car park. Um, bike backfires behind her. Uh, and she goes into labour. Um, rather amusing. Uh, well, not really. But um, yeah, grabbed hold of her. Several women um, got her sorted out, being uh, being looked after by the ladies. Uh, we had uh, a band playing at the time, and the sheer amount of screaming and abuse coming from the uh, the small room where we uh, we got her out of the way and being taken care of. She was actually out screaming the uh, the PA that the band were playing through. As the ambulance arrives. The, uh, the ambulance crew run in, um, get her sorted out onto the, uh, onto the gurney and being taken out. 
and um, she had a huge standing ovation from everybody in the cafe, all clapping and, um, uh, uh, and very impressed. And as she's being um, uh, wheeled out towards the ambulance, she gives the lovely royal wave, <laughs> and then carried on screaming. <laughs> Rock and roll is one of the foundation blocks of the Ace Cafe legend. In this day and age, live music at the cafe is curated with unrelenting passion for those who love the old ways of rock and roll and rockabilly. Over the years, band after band have paid tribute on this stage to a very charismatic way of crafting music often propped up by a handful of talented and skillful musicians that stubbornly persist, preserving a musical orthodoxy to kind of still make us tap our feet and shake our heads to the beat, just like it was originally intended. In time, the Ace has become a place of pilgrimage legions of fans from all around the globe. Behind this power to endure without giving in to trends and fashions lays a foundation of uncompromised commitment to preserve heritage and celebrate the spirit that gave birth to original rockers. Their music, their motorcycles and their history. There is, however, a very essential trait to the personality that the cafe has developed over the years. Its capacity to include people from all walks of life, catering for anyone who has felt adrenaline kick in and the urge to tinker with an engine. Be it on an old British bike, an Italian car, or an old and beaten German camp. From real people, to real people. No marketing or accessories required. It is a scene in itself with a loyal family that governs week in, week out. Be it a parade or news death trap, find like minded people and find help when you're about to give up Oops. that bloody carburetor. Have you ever had a good day today? How many of you have been here all day? Quite a few of you. Whenever live music is on at the Aces calendar, groups of rockers, regulars and occasional visitors descend into the cafe for a bit of fun and a couple of beers. It is quite remarkable that the Aces motto, T Speeds and Speed Thrills, sets the cafe slightly apart from regular venues in the evening. And when alcohol consumption is normal, on a night out for most people, parties at the cafe might enjoy the old pint. Also, like music nights. But in general, behaviour at the Ace is driven by motorcycles, cars and the rules of the road. It remains of heart, a British transport cafe. Whatever it might be, it is not a theme park. The motorcycles are not seen as fashion accessories. Steer been well away from trends. Vigorously shaking away any attempts to turn it into some stylish caricature of his heritage and past. More importantly, Ace knows and understands motorcycle history and plays an essential part preserving the narrative 
very important part of it. The Ace Cafe's most important asset is its people, their knowledge and experience. People that have made this car park the feel of motorcycle. A place where you get to see motorcycle culture in all of its manifestations. Take its course. Day in, day out without a point just because and there is the kids crazy about their machines and capable of inspiring exactly the same reactions as their forefathers on unsuspecting passers-by. The Ace Cafe reunion was first organized by Mark Wilsmore in 1994. It is a burn up from the Cafe to Brighton that gathers thousands of motorcycles. From the Ace Cafe, a group of rockers led by Mark will ride all the way to Brighton Beach Road, followed by any type of motorcycle you can imagine.
beachfront. It is not unusual to congregate in excess of 30,000 motorcycles. It is not a Sturgis on sea. It's a British Sunday ride. Bacon sandwiches, fish and chips, and mugs of tea apply. Motorcycles from all over the UK, and some from the continent, would drip in steadily, filling Brighton streets with a mighty roar. A nice mix of machines and people from all walks of life meet for this event that pays homage to the old school burn ups that became notorious in the late 60s British seaside towns. As the summer comes to an end, it feels like the rally that marks the end of the motorcycle season. The perfect excuse to ride with your friends, everyone welcome in the spirit of inclusion that stands as a core value of the Ace Cafe ethos. Far gone are the days of the seaside adventures, where a handful of teenage modern rockers <laughs> roam through the coastal villages, enjoying the newly acquired freedom that their machines would afford them. Give a taste to the ones that have dedicated a substantial portion of their lives to motorcycle culture and have, with their effort, ensured that the pleasure of riding a motorcycle is shared by everyone. Thank <laughs> you. 